Good morning, everyone. It is um, Monday morning. It is January the 27th. Um, hope you had a great weekend. Um, and I hope your Monday is off and running in a positive direction. Uh, a couple things, <clears throat> excuse me, about the weekend. Um, personally, um, <laughs> I spent the weekend in the Buffalo Niagara Falls area. Uh, as those of you that are regular watchers of whiteboard weather know, both of my sons are hockey players and they both had tournaments this past weekend. And it was a mostly successful weekend. Um, my older son, AJ, his team finished as runner-up, uh, losing in the championship game. And my younger son, Carson, his team actually won their championship. Uh, so it was a long weekend. Didn't get home until, I think it was like 9.30 last night. Um, so a little slow starting on this Monday, but overall, pretty good weekend for the Vrizella boys and their hockey teams. Um, of course, the, the major news story over the weekend, uh, the passing of Kobe Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter, uh, an unbelievably sad story, uh, and uh, certainly <clears throat> not only want to remember Kobe and his 13-year-old daughter, but all the, the families affected, the other people that lost their lives in that tragedy uh, out in California. So um, a lot of people will be thinking about that <clears throat> over the course of the next few days. Um, let's talk about, <clears throat> and I apologize, my voice is a little scratchy this morning. Uh, let's talk about some national days today very quickly, then we'll get into the weather. It's National Chocolate Cake Day today. It is National Bubble Wrap Day today. Uh, born on this day, Chris Collinsworth, the NBC football color commentator, and uh, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozarts, born on this day, and the chief. Art Rooney was born on this day until uh, his passing uh, back in 1988. So the chief was born on this day. All right, let us talk about some weather now. Uh, let's start with some currents, temperatures. Flip the camera around. And if you're headed out the door uh, anytime soon, you can plan on about 33 degrees. Temperatures are hovering right around and just above the freezing mark. Uh, west wind at 6 miles an hour. And here's what we have on radar this morning. You can see there is some scattered precipitation. Again, uh, it's light. And as I mentioned, with temperatures near and above freezing, uh, there could be some mixture of flurries and or drizzle in any given uh, locations. Uh, you can see uh, between Wexford and the city right now, there's a little swath of some light precipitation, again embedded within there, some flurries or maybe even uh, some spotty drizzle and a little bit more as you get closer to Interstate 80. I think this situation is going to continue to play out over the day today in that we're going to see some spotty, occasional, sporadic light precipitation. Um, so it's not going to be a real pretty day today, but the precipitation for the most part should be on the piddly side, if you will. Nothing really heavy but really spotty and generally light. Uh, as we head over to the computer, we say hello to PittsburghWeatherNow.com. When you get a chance, visit the website. It has everything whiteboard weather, photo galleries, all the um, links in the library to our fun facts of the day. Also weather records tab right there at the top of the page. And also our Pittsburgh Weather Now shop should you choose to shop for any whiteboard weather merchandise as we take a look at current temperatures as i said everyone tightly packed within about a three degree temperature range across the area 32 newcastle beaver falls is 33 it's 32 in butler 34 in pittsburgh indiana latrobe and washington with winds coming in out of the west at about looks in most cases seven eight miles an hour uh, and again cloudy skies in some spots and some flurries or maybe even drizzle in other spots. So that is really location dependent. Uh, so, and I think that again is going to be the case throughout the day today <clears throat> that we'll see, <clears throat> pardon me, some occasional um, sporadic but generally light pockets 
of precipitation. So let's head over to the whiteboard and check it out for a Monday. This is your wake up whiteboard on this Monday morning. As we head through the day, you'll notice one thing jumping out at you right away. Look at the red temperatures. There's not going to be much movement in the temperatures today. 34 at wake hour at 8 a.m., noon 35 and 36 uh, at 4 o'clock. So um, pretty tight temperature range throughout the day today. Not a lot of movement. Pretty steady. Chilly with clouds uh, all day long. And occasionally, again, we'll get some spotty drizzle or even a few flurries. But the precipitation amounts will be piddly through the day today, which is to say generally light and um, not significant. They're not going to be impactful. All week long, we're going to have seasonably chilly temperatures. What does that mean? Uh, mid to upper 30s, uh, day by day by day, right through the end of the week. Uh, we're not going to see any big warm-ups, not going to see any big cool downs this week. We'll just toe the line in the mid to upper 30s for highs all week. And unfortunately, not much sunshine either. Um, maybe on Thursday we have a shot to see some sunshine, but generally it's going to be fairly cloudy all week as well. So uh, I guess all things considered, a pretty typical week of late January weather in western PA with clouds, mid to upper 30s, um, and uh, again, not a lot of sunshine. So uh, unfortunately, it's going to be, I guess, somewhat dreary over the course of the next few days. So stock up on, what is it, the vitamin, vitamin D, vitamin E, whatever the case may be. <laughs> um, so uh, there you go. Pretty straightforward. Uh, pockets of some light precip today. Relatively unimpactful, but otherwise lots of clouds and mid to upper 30s. Uh, so there you go. Um, yes, Julie, you are right. I saw your comment. I mentioned that Kobe's not the only family impacted by the weekend tragedy, our hearts go out to all of the families that were impacted uh, by that tragic helicopter crash out in California. Um, please remember to join us this afternoon, 3 o'clock, wake up, or not 3 o'clock, I'm waking up, 3 o'clock for our regular whiteboard weather segment. Uh, and as always, ask you please share whiteboard weather with your Facebook friends. And um, I will leave you with this thought of the day today. Live for today because tomorrow is promised to no one. Have a great day, everyone. See you at three. Peace.